Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Jay Voodoo Child, and this is Total War Troy on Epic. I'm playing a historic Spartan campaign. It is turn 55, normal, normal, because that's the way I like to play. And last episode, we were under pressure from attacks in two different directions. And I was responding to them, and basically the threat of losing territory has been relieved. The Dardanian stack of 20 um, took some deep sea attrition, was attacked a couple times by allies. Um, they won the battle, but lost too many soldiers to go take... Um, Melanos here, Milos, and that was that was the goal of sending my allies to go attack them. Uh, so Ajax paid the price that finally sent them packing. But they're still holding strong. I can't confederate them for what reason? Because I'm a diplomatic ally with them? Because they have military alliances with others? So I can confederate Mycenae, even though they have a military ally there. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. So anyway, they can chase them off the map, make them regret sailing down here. And on the other front, these guys were fleeing the areas that I was attacking up to the northeast here. So they came down to threaten roads. So I gave chase. I uh, gave a prayer so I can sail these deep waters through here, take a shortcut. And because I was rushing, um, they decided to take the opportunity to come attack me. And a true soldier. Um, am I on the land or not? Why can I not target you? Oh, because of my... That's a nice change. Um, that once you do do any movement in the force, if you still haven't used your, if you're still within your normal movement, you can go back to ready stance. Make them pay. That is a change I do greatly appreciate. All right, so another easy one. Um. I don't know it all. Don't falter now! Some cheap experience. <laughs> and some cheaper food. Enslave them. Get most of my men back. Very good. Faction destroyed. Save made. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> My saves just take way too long. I, I, I'm an SSD. I, I don't get it. All right. Forget their name. 
All right. So. My main army is good. My father is the only one that's injured. Let's make this happen. Raise anchors. Faster. Course so it's going to be more than five turns before I go up here and take my epic. So I'm going to take costs. Um, I probably will want to hold on to this for a while. Even though I'm kind of running out of things to build. I want to trade this away or am I? I'll keep it in my back pocket. I'm kind of growing more and more attached to cities. We did well. Will that be my northernmost? Yes, so that might become the new target. Yeah, okay, so that's cut possibilities as well. Alrighty, um, so yeah, spending some wood. All right, you have finished building. So, highest rank fort. We are going to demolish you. Not really building anything here. Can we take down? All right, so we, yeah, we've already taken down. So our influence should be recovering. Because this is the only negative influence besides the Lycian trade, which I'm staying away from. So we hopefully will get over 60 and start getting those bigger payouts again. Now my food dropped. It was like 3,000. I'm guessing it's upgrades. Because I'm not protected. Or I don't have the criers. So you are safe. Any interesting buildings I want to do here? This was a good day. If I got nothing better to build, then I will do this. Actually, let's start. you all right that's that
So, where do I need to return you? For glory. We can go back here. We've docked. And then this continue collecting experience. And then you'll get some armor upgrades up here. Eager for action. Do I want to repair the main building down here? So I can upgrade it next turn. Sure, why not? And maybe you too? 700. Why not? Okay. So you do not give chase. Thanks. I mean, I guess you made an effort. <laughs> uh, I think you're about to start your attack. Whether you're going to go against the Surf Boy Island. All right. You've made some progress in your war. You're not going directly home. That's interesting. So, I don't know what about to do with my food income. So I'm calling to call them alien. Or predator, excuse me. Because that's what that mask reminds me of. I don't know of any mytholo mythological character that has a boar body and a human face. Like the centaur has the horse body. So I don't know what that one faction is going for. And they're united against us, right? Alright, Troy. This is not good. Uh, yeah, that's all kinds of not good. I mean, Troy's are at war with too many friends, so it's not like I can make a non-aggression attack with them. So it is what it is.
I'm starting to get tired and we got barters coming up. So I just may do a multiple clip presentation here. All right, so I got two more turns with Poseidon. I think this turn is all I need. I no, don't even need today. Menelaus of the Loud War Cry. I will. All right, I can begin the wars. I think it's best to take out the city first since that's the hardest one and then come down here and take out this so definitely going to save that for labor agreement with Sparta. they're at war with the Amazons so if I join their war I'll get some resources Oh, there's my little crash indicator. Um, but if I openly declare war, then I'll have military alliance joining me, and that's probably where I'll go. Because I want war points with Lycia. And I'm crashing. So, yeah, um, this might be the end of the episode. Or at least this clip. I can do the barters offline and then start clipping the last half for the battle. Provided there's no one there. If there's someone there, then I will likely wait for them. My main army is getting good enough that I have reduced siege time. So maybe two or three turns before I can have an auto resolve and not face the walls and arrow towers. But yeah, it looks like we're crashing. So, yeah, let me just end this clip here, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Jay Voodoo Child, and we are here playing Total War Troy. This is a Spartan campaign on Epic, historic mode, normal, normal, and it is turn 56. Um, we had a crash... On our last session, I'm going to splice it together with this recording and put it on an episode. But um, since it was a bartering um, turn, I did that offline to kind of save you some grief. I've done some barters online before, um, so you kind of see my technique, and it's just much the same, just the numbers are different. No use taking up your time reviewing that repetitive process all right so um we are about to launch our attack on the predator face and i have choices of two places to attack i've switched myself over to um the ready stance i can get to this or i can get to this I'm going to choose this since this is a harder nut. Um, and I hope I have vision enough to see that it is on un garrison. So actually, I'm going to move up here. Well, I'm just, I'm just going to, I don't want to waste any movement because I'm so close to the edge of whether I can get there or not. So, um, 
I have two choices. They are at war with the Amazons. But since I'm military allies with Lithica and I've just had two Trojans join wars against me, I'm going to try and build up some research or some diplomacy points. But yeah, um, they don't care about one of the factions, but, you know, 16 points because I'm at war with Troy. Now, thankfully, it has been long enough that I haven't had a fight with Troy or with Hector that I don't have any military actions against Hector. So that's nice. Um, but I expect to reach an agreement with Sparta. To war, then. So they've joined. And I get three points now. I think I get some for military actions or raiding or trespassing and all that good stuff. Okay. I can no longer reach the city. Um, hmm. We may have to redo that. Victory All right, so good. All right, no extra garrisons. Um... I'm just going to siege this out. I'm not in any particular rush at this point. And they even may come out. So. Into the fray! Um. It's just the walls. I just find them annoying. Decrees. I've just completed the agent. So I'm pretty much ready to go there. I got most of the building ones that I want. Um, extra rage during battle. That's fairly important to me. I have yet to do my 75 rage ability. And I definitely have plenty, plenty of bronze. Morale for all units, that would be nice. Keeps my militia in the fight a little bit longer. Uh, 350 gold, so that's over half of my current gold. Uh, I do have some gold expenditures coming up with the temples that I'm getting closer. I keep on rearranging the spots of different temples for the three that I must have um, in order to get maximum levels on agents. So I'm going to do heroes here uh, because on top of heroes this is also a military um, province. And with um, Athena here, we get bonuses to defense on anyone recruited here. So that's good here. And then 
the heroes as they are um, swimming back, I guess. I can pick up, but uh, unfortunately, my agents will have to deal with things. So they might run across Crete and do stuff like that to kind of prevent that negative trait popping up for being in the water too long. All right, so um, let's just go through. I'm nearly done on spending money or having things to spend money on. Two turns before I can level that up. Since I have a non-aggression pack here and here, I don't know whether I want to do uh, long-term build or just a short-term build I mean having just a basic f food production here I don't understand how minus four influence here I still have a positive gain. Minus seven. Do you have an influence gain? I don't think you do. No, nope. so I have no idea what's offsetting this negative four influence. Yep, no clue. So, I may just do a guard tower and convert this over to negative growth. Alright, I'm building up here. I've decided I'm going to try and hold on to these city islands. Get them up to level 5, get my special global well actually it's not the it, a faction wide bonus for my elite units and just have more locations for that alright I was going to start a happiness here put some vineyards this is also front line so happiness minus 5 there And I mean, this is pretty much just waiting for so might as well get this going. I think that's all I can do on the turn. Oop, I can get that started, so we'll hold off on this. drop this altar since it's not providing me yeah I'll just keep it around plus one happiness and if ever I want to do an emergency build okay So I think we are done. Just overwrite this. Uh, 
right. Damaged buildings. Yeah, I know I'll have a whole lot of... I love uh, a challenge. Alright. I'll get on it. Not a chance. To war! Set an ambush. So Argus War is going well for them, I guess. Because I have um, agreements with them, I'm not able to break and declare war in a timely manner. So I'll just continue to trade with them and let them die off. Looks like brother is doing another attack wave. Yeah, he's definitely sending up forces, so. Let him deal with all of that while I just continue along my epic path and build up my base so you have a wide territory now I'll see what you do I doubt you will be moving quickly enough to actually get in on the war and they're out of position so badly that so that force is not strong enough to do anything on its own the agent yeah could cause some havoc is sending up some sacks to take the war to Troy. turn 57 they did not come out to attack me so probably got another two turns all right got surplus there so this is going to take ooh, one turn to build all right so we can definitely get started here in fact could have gotten started last turn This was so quick. Oh, well. I'm not going to ask too many questions about it. Okay. 
I'm not going to start my temple builds elsewhere just yet. We'll see how we are on our... That's that for buildings. Um, Make them pay. So two turns, they'll take a hit. Uh, I probably will need to wait three turns in order to get really low for an auto resolve. Don't falter now. So I think that's all for this turn. Taking our time, building up our foundation. Oh. Roll decree. Come on. Okay, we have returned from a crash. Um, again, I'm just going to splice these together. I need to do a royal decree. Um, Want to save my gold for the high level temples? But I also want this. So I guess next barter, I definitely need to start farming gold. All right, and that's that. We'll continue on to the next turn. I don't do, I rarely do any other AI proposed deals. Mainly because I go fishing for what's advantage for me. So yeah, it looks like they're gonna take over those islands there. Um, I'm going to check out to see, wow, they got defeated. That's interesting. I'm going to go see if Helen's still hanging out over there. All right. Hey, if you think you can take one of those, be my guess. I guess you could just raid. I wonder what Lycia will think about me being raided by someone they like.
Okay. So, I'm thinking my options, break the siege and start sieging the other one, if not just outright attack it, because I don't want them mustering. That's interesting. Nice. Um, they just moved down there. I cannot do that. All right, the other option is to attack now. Probably what I'm going to do. Attack now, take this over, replenish. And when they start recruiting next turn, come down, lay siege. They've got 14, and so they'll slightly outnumber us. And we'll just, particularly so you know, I'll probably be still damaged Strike from this off. fight. So I'm going to leave that fight for the next episode. What else do I want to do on this turn before I set that up? Uh, peace negotiated. Oh. All right. That's good news, I guess. Of course I will listen to you, Menelaus. You're still at war with brother. colonies uh, we can go look at what I can recruit um, these guys are good Not sure whether I can build these guys or not. Light swordsmen, probably not. See now I have my own elite version of those. Yeah, you do nothing special for me. But I like having you around. Um, yeah, this is the unspottable. So yeah, I was before I had Islanders and they just were taking a beating getting walked over
These are interesting units. So they still don't have that frontline spear unit that I want from them. I did get a chariot for them. So I mean, the relationship has an advantage. I'm not sure whether you consider that a huge advantage or not. But having one of the best chariots in the game. Um, do I have line of sight on, let's see what you got, yeah, here they are, Eastern Spearmen. So I may try and get a, and they don't care about Troy. The major problem is that given enough time, they will get into conflict with someone else I want to be friends with. All right, Houston Spearmen here, but they're so hard to get a defensive ally. So, may end up giving most of my conquered territory to these guys. Yeah, I don't have line of sight on the others. All right, so that's good to know. But yeah, let's check out our map. Where is Helen? She's right there. I bet she is going to be in trouble. Excuse me. But it's like these two factions here. Or maybe just the northern one. Okay. So I guess we'll call it for this episode. Um, thank you all for watching. Excuse the constant um, crashing. Normally don't have any problems at all with that. Well, an, a, a rare one. But with me recording and sometimes I've got uh, editing software still up and running. Maybe I'm doing a download to YouTube. I try and avoid having too many of those processes running at the same time. And in fact, this last one, I just did a hard reboot to kind of clear memory and all that good stuff, but still crashed with OBS running. So, uh, anyway, it is what it is. But um, like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Um, you know, comment if you wish to give some insights on stuff that you do or um, have comments about stuff that I'm doing. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate it. Take care.